Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming finally, 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 this actually requested um, review on the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop collection. Beyond this being a product that I actually wanted to review, like the foundation and the newly released concealers and powders, I guess, um, I've actually been asked to like review the foundation and separately to review the concealer. So I was like, let me just get the products together and then review them together because I find that often products that were part of a collection or designed to work together work better together. So I wanted to see how they work and I wanted to test them in a situation where I can actually like I can actually see their wear and see that they can't stop, won't stop, and see that they are a matte, long wearing foundation. So I'm going to Corona Fest and I will touch base a little bit later in the day. I won't be coming back here to film, but I will film a little bit of a vlog styled update later in the day um, of just like how my face is holding up, if everything is still like in place, if I'm creasing a lot, like if I'm sweating, well not, a, I'll probably sweat, but as in like if my foundation and like stuff is going like patchy and things like that. So I'll definitely give an actual like wear test update, but this will, this portion of this filmed tutorial will be more of a first impressions on the products. So I haven't used any of them before. I literally bought them like yesterday and I just received a press drop. And guys, even if you follow me on social media, you know that I've had the most like hectic time trying to get these products like everywhere everywhere was sold out in my color and like I was waiting I was driving up and down every single day trying to order online phoning stores trying to get this color even the press drop I received didn't come with a foundation so I was just like oh my gosh guys I'm not ever gonna get this foundation but I finally got it and I'm really really excited to use it and I also received the loose powders and the press powders which is really exciting because they sent all three colors of the loose powders so I get to use it to highlight and to overall set my face and I think I'm gonna do that as a put and then like I'll sweep away using my face color so yeah if you want to find out more about these products then let's get into it so inside this box as you can see there are a ton of powders um, a ton of concealers and my foundation that I bought so I just put everything inside this box and then it came with this little pamphlet because this press shop was about the concealer specifically because the foundation launched a while back like a few months ago and then the concealer and um, I think the loose part is just launched as well so this it's pretty much a guide of just like how to like conceal and sculpt because it's like contouring highlighting and concealing with this foundation um, and yeah it just has the setting powder and the loose powder okay so pretty much this collection is just about being matte and long wearing so all of these products are designed to give you a matte and long wearing finish um, for the for the foundation there are 40 shades if I'm not mistaken for the concealer there are 24 shades the loose powder has six shades and the pressed powder has 24 shades so like across the board it's a pretty inclusive and diverse collection which I'm very very excited about I really love that we have a, a collection of affordable like drugstore pharmacy brand products that are good quality and they are inclusive so 40 shades of foundation really really huge the unfortunate thing is that it's unlikely for you to find all 40 shades in a pharmacy unless you get to a massive one but even like canal walk i don't think they have all 40 shades so if you want to get to see all 40 shades and get matched properly i would suggest going to um a store they have stores in Canal Walk and Sandton City and then getting shade match there and then if you need to buy you can buy online and online on clicks they have all of the colors um, likewise with the concealer and the pressed powders so they do have a primer I didn't get the primer so I've also heard that if you use a primer and foundation together it's just overwhelming so I'm just gonna prime my face separately and I'm gonna be using the Smashbox primerizer just to at least hydrate my skin before I just put a bunch of mattifying products on top of it so yeah, we're gonna just start off with this and we will do our brows afterwards So we're gonna start with our skin and we're gonna pretty much do our face and then go back to hair I mean, okay, so I am number 19 Which is mocha and this better be correct because I went to the canal store um, Canal walk store to get shade matched and my foundation on foundation.com. I was recommended this shade So this shade does look like really good for me so if, I, if this is actually the wrong shade, I think I'm actually just going to cry because I've gone through such hell to get this exact color. But I'm pretty sure it's fine. If not, I'll make it work. 
um because i was originally caught between two shades 19 and 20 but 20 is is a little bit darker and just more red so i can i did use it on one half of my face when i was testing it out and i did see like it did match it was just super 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 red and this one is just more yellow so oh it's blending in so nicely so i can actually just say like <sighs> i got the right foundation so i just did like one pump just to see how far that could stretch and i can already say that it does have a matte finish like i'm applying it and it's literally just like it's looking like my original skin so it's like it's not shiny it's not like liquidy it's literally just like easily pressed into my skin and it does give me pretty good coverage all across the board like all of my sunspots and stuff i'm not noticing them at all but i'm just gonna put a little bit more to increase the coverage and it doesn't feel heavy at all which is really 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 important especially when you're getting a full coverage um, foundation and a matte foundation they often just tend to feel super super heavy so this one doesn't feel heavy at all and I really really am enjoying the feel of it like I'm pressing it on but it doesn't even feel like I've put anything on it feels very very skin like and lightweight so I definitely think I got a good color because you know I've been suffering with some skin tones this morphia right now so I am going through it a little bit but I feel like this color is definitely good enough or enough that I can make it work it may feel a little bit yellow and may feel a tiny bit too light but the people at NYX did tell me that it does darken when it dries down so I'm counting on that and I think everything will be fine and if it's not I'm gonna pretend it is because I went through like three weeks of torture trying to get it so everything is fine next up we're gonna highlight and contour with some concealers so I picked up these three so this one I actually bought this one is color 17 mahogany i mean 17 cappuccino this is just like a natural highlighting color this one is number 14 golden honey which i'm just going to use a few dots just to highlight a little bit more um in the center and deep espresso number 24 is what i'm going to use to contour so i'm going to start off with this one and i'm going to blend that in Do you know what i feel like i don't even need any powder i'm going to put powder because i'm going to be going out today i'm going to be outside i'm going to be at groove so i'm definitely going to put powder but i feel like like this is something that i could just put on and wear like it feels really really like matte like i feel like my skin is good to go okay so i'm starting off with number 17 and that's just for my like natural highlight shade And it's definitely quite thick and it feels quite drying not drying but like it feels quite like thick for lack of a better word funny enough it almost kind of has like a gelish type of feel to it not like purely creamy like almost gelish a little bit sticky and it reminds me a bit of the new Fenty concealer that I just got which I have yet to film and stuff so it just feels like a little bit like gelish which I'm not mad at that consistency. So yeah, it's definitely quite sticky, so you do have to work, not that you have to work fast, but you can't let it sit to gain more coverage because like the coverage and color that you get is still pretty good. And I'm actually very glad with the color that I got and I didn't, and the fact that I didn't go much lighter. I just went like, two shades above my um, my foundation um, and I don't even know if there's a shade in between in the concealer but I'm 19 in the foundation so 17 is what I got in the concealer and I feel like this is a very good balanced like natural glow so I may just put like two dots just to like get a little bit of brightness directly under my eyes but I'm not gonna go over it much Now I'm gonna conceal using number 24. So one thing I can say right now is I know that this the gel-like consistency is something not everyone's gonna be a fan of. I can tell you that for free. I am a fan of it because I like the coverage aspect of it and it just feels a, like more thick like it feels like you're actually just getting like the coverage that you want you're getting like the color pay off that you need but i know that this may not feel this may not blend out as like easy as like a more liquidy creamy one 
so you may have to blend a little bit harder and it feels like it dries down a little bit more so you have to work quickly and be able to like blend completely but I actually kind of like this finish I like this texture and feel but yeah you really need to work fast I shouldn't have done this I think it's also quite new to me because I've never had a um, a matte concealer before I think beyond the Urban Decay Naked Skin that was a full coverage and matte and I also noted that that one dried I really feel like in my heart of hearts I don't need to do like a full setting routine I could just go like this and be on my merry way but I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna still set it on top of this because I want that flawless long wearing finish okay so they sent me three powders and it looks like this there's like a light medium a banana and a medium deep so I'm gonna be using the banana and medium deep if anything depending on what it looks like I may just use my Fenty powder because as much as a banana powder helps at your guys color like I do not want to be ashy I don't want to be flashing back so that light medium I've even just put away I'm not even gonna test it maybe I'll use it on my lipstick who knows but for my face I don't think so sir um, what I may do is use that light medium one and then go over with the Fenty a bit later so oh it has that kind of like not matte bounce but it kind of has that matte bounce type effect where you open it and it pushes down into the base here so like it'll always self-contain it's not a bounce but at least like it's that type of design okay and I'm just gonna take the banana and press it in onto places that I've highlighted so yeah lately in general I have it's not an agenda against banana powders but I'm always wary of them because a lot of people don't know how to make a good banana powder they just make like a translucent powder with like a tinge of yellow in it so it's still really 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 light and it just flashed back ashiness mess so now I'm also gonna take this deep and I'm just going to set the rest of my face with it lightly with a brush not with a sponge and I'm gonna try not make a mess like I did just now the only thing about this design is I don't really know how to get the product out usually I pour product into the lid but now there's a stopper on this lid and it doesn't bounce out so I'm just like tapping it to try and get more product out but I will say this shade is a great shade for all over setting my face and like I've usually like never set my face with a loose powder before so this is new to me because when I buy loose powders I prioritize getting an under eye like highlighting powder my face does look like in this mirror it looks a little bit gray cast and I don't know if that's just a mirror or like because when I look on camera, it looks really fine. So my skin actually looks like a bit flawless and I'm really enjoying that finish. So I'm currently happy with it. I'm happy with the color. I'm happy with how it's set, especially when I dusted over that darker powder on top and I kind of neutralized what I was fearing about with the banana. So like, I still got my shadows, I've still got my contour, but then like, my highlights jumping out as well but everything kind of blends together which is really really ideal so now I'm just gonna put a bit of blush and a bit of highlighter on as well so for blush I'm gonna use this NYX ombre blush in code breaker so it's this pink purple ombre blush and I'm just gonna use that <music> I'm gonna go do my eyes and my brows and then I'm gonna come back to highlight and set my face so I'm quickly gonna do those off camera because I think they're largely irrelevant to this tutorial and I'll just be right back. okay so I pretty much finished off my face off camera except I didn't highlight so I'm just gonna use my switch beauty um, wet glow highlighter in the shade clapback and finesse I'm gonna mix those two together and I'm just gonna give myself a little bit of a and I'm really 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 enjoying just how my face held up like during that time when I did the rest of my face I didn't notice it didn't settle into the creases by my smile lines a lot like I my face just stood like it did feel a little bit drying but that's because I didn't set anything I didn't set any of the powder so like once I do that my face will feel a bit more normal but like for all intents and purposes like it really just it felt like my face was just finished okay and now it's time to set my face with my favorite duo this glam glow glow setter and um decay pollution protection all nighter spray okay so pretty much in essence my final thoughts i think for my skin needs and my concerns being that i have oily skin and stuff i think that this foundation is a definite win it is 
full coverage it is mattifying it doesn't feel heavy and like that is something that's very important to me but if you have dry skin especially as we're going into winter i would not recommend this to you you may find it feel too drying on your skin and you need that extra hydration and i'm sure if you put a hydrating primer if you put more things on beforehand and you don't sit with powder you'll be fine but it's also just like why should you do that when you already know that this is going to be mattifying this is going to be full coverage and that's not necessarily going to be the best for your skin so i think that's definitely something to be cognizant of if you do have dry skin or your skin is like more like normal but on the side leaning towards dry especially as winter's coming but I think that I'm gonna enjoy this foundation I'm gonna have a great time especially with these powders and the concealers the concealer I am a fan of this gel like consistency but I know that it may bother a few people because it's not as malleable as you think and it like stays put it clings a little bit like it gives you like that sticking power and for some people that's not gonna be um, what they're used to or what they want out of concealer you know so do be aware of that consistency and if you're and if that's something that you think you can handle or not try to test it in store if you would like to just feel it for yourself but like feeling it like swatching it a little bit on my hand and putting it on my face as i'm trying to use it it definitely did feel different so this gel like stickiness is something i only experienced when i put it on my face but i don't mind it i kind of like it i enjoy it in the fenty concealer and i think i enjoy it here as well so i'm good with it the setting powders i'm also quite a fan of like I like the dark one like I really really enjoy the dark one how it just helped me just sit over my entire face and like melt that banana powder I know I didn't use the press powder at all but I didn't need to I didn't even think I needed to use that um, loose powder I honestly feel like this is a type of foundation and concealer that you can just put those on as long as you blend them well together you can put them on and you can go and if anything that would help with the more dewy finish like you wouldn't feel as drying because you're not putting powder on on top of that so I guess if maybe you have dry skin and you want to use it then don't use the powders at all just use a foundation and concealer and go so it'll be a quick um, two-step face routine maybe for work or when you're in a rush instead of having to do, like, put foundation concealer and powder setting powder and then all of that stuff so maybe that's the alternative for you and that could be better off but yeah all in all I am a fan of it I really love how it looks I think it looks amazing so I'm really excited to see how it wears I will check in just with like a little snippet later in the day just to show how it's holding up but other than that it's all good and leave any questions you have in the description box remember to like comment and subscribe and we'll catch you next time Okay, it's 7.45. I've been wearing this makeup for like over five hours now. I look pretty good. Approved. It is officially midnight. This is nine hours of wear. There's like little to no creasing in my, in my lips. And it looks pretty good. I'm a fan. We stand. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Thank you.